Welcome to the 12th World Championship of Lawn Bowls coming to you from the Lockleys Bowling Club in South Australia. Today it is the men's second semi-final in the singles. Australia's Leif Selby is taking on New Zealand's Shannon McElroy. A place in the final awaits. Canada's Ryan Bester is already there. Leif Selby is ranked number two in the world and has already won silver here at the Worlds in the pairs. He has gold medals in the World Cup, Asia Pacific and World Champion of Champions. He is also the silver medalist in the singles at the last Commonwealth Games. Well, Leif, it's been a long, hard road to get to the semi-final. You've had a few days off. Has that freshened you up at all? Oh, it has in a way. Um, look, I've been in the, in, the, in, the, in the grandstand supporting all the other disciplines as well. So I've been watching the rink pretty closely. Uh, but look, I feel as though I'm ready to go this morning. Yeah. You've had a, a match out on the TV rink in the pairs final. Uh, you've become a little bit acclimatised to it. What are your thoughts? Uh, look, the, the wind's come back again this morning, so it's going to be a little bit difficult out there. But um, singles is a game where you, 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 know, you, you, you get your head right uh, and away you go. So we'll see what happens. What about your opponent, Shannon McElroy? You know a bit about him and you know he's going to be hard to beat. Definitely hard to beat. Look, any game in a semi-final of a world singles is going to be a very, very difficult match. But um, look, we've played each other quite a bit over the last 12 months, so uh, I think it's about even. Uh, we'll see what happens. Over to New Zealand, Shannon McElroy, the 24-year-old, is ranked 11 in the world. He has silver from the SA International Triples. He was actually runner-up to Selby at the 2011 Australian Open and has silver medals from the 2009 and 2007 Asia Pacific Championships. Well, Shannon, congratulations on reaching the semi-final of the World Championships. It was an intense start to the tournament, but you've had a few days off now. Has uh, that freshened you up? Uh, I think so. Um, I mean, for the first 10 days, we play one discipline for five days and the other discipline for the next five. So you're playing 10 days straight, and that's probably something that you're not really used to. Um, so have, to have a few days off is, is quite good, actually. You just freshen up and have a sort of few practices in between the days and, and uh, all ready to go come today. You haven't played on this screen yet, and it's been tricky conditions with the wind as well. Uh, what have you learnt by watching other matches? Um, obviously, just, just trust your eyes, really. Um, sometimes the, uh, the wind can fool you into making, uh, making you think that the green's doing something else, but just, just believe your eyes and, and see what's happening, and then you just make your corrections from there. So, yeah, that's all I'll be doing. Great rivalry between Australia and New Zealand. You've played Leif a number of times. Uh, how difficult is he to beat? Oh, he's very tough. Um, he's like my wee nemesis, I suppose. Um, Leif and I have played many a times over the last sort of three years. Um, great mates off the green, um, but he's a, he's a great competitor. Um, I lost him in the earlier stages of the uh, first game of the uh, sectional play, uh, this, this event, but um, uh, that probably counts for nothing now. Um, it's all on the day. Whoever plays the better is going to win. So I'll be uh, looking forward to a tight game. Well, joining me in commentary, Kelvin Kirko and Kelvin, big day for Leif Selby today, world number two, but it's been a few days since he's had a competitive match. Will that take the edge off him? Yeah, listen, it's been 11 days since Leif last played, so it's got to be a bit difficult for him. Uh, but listen, I know he had a practice yesterday just to get the cobwebs out. He's up for it. Uh, you know, he wants to win the gold medal. Silver medalist at the Commonwealth Games in India. I think he's got the goods. He knows his opponent very well. Australia and New Zealand have a wonderful rivalry. What can you tell us about Shannon McElroy? Yeah, listen, Shannon's been going really well over the last 18 months. New Zealand have blooded him as the singles player. They think he's the man to do the job. Leif's going to be up against it, but listen... I think he'll come home. One match away from a spot in the World Championship final men's singles. Australia's Leif Selby taking on New Zealand's Shannon McElroy in this second semi final. Coolish day in Adelaide. The weather, the temperatures dropped dramatically the last couple of days, but one constant seems to have been a very, very strong wind, which today is coming from the southwest straight down. The green, so behind the bowlers at the moment. Ryan Bester awaits. Will it be Leif Selby or Shannon McElroy? We're about to find out. Unbeaten so far in the tournament in singles. Here's the Aussie, and his first match was a comfortable win over Shannon McElroy and a confident start for Leif Selby.
Such an intense start to this tournament for these bowlers as well. Two, sometimes three matches a day. Well, they haven't had a singles match in 11 days, Kelvin Kirko. So it might take them a little bit of time to get their head around the fact that they're not playing the other disciplines now. They're back to singles that they haven't played in nearly two weeks. Yeah, it's quite amazing, really, with the singles being played <coughs> at the start of the event. And that big gap certainly going to be a little hard to settle down. I know Leif Selby did have a, a good practice yesterday afternoon just to try and get a bit of rhythm. And Leif Selby did play Shannon McElroy in the very first round of the tournament where he won 21 to 11. So it was quite a convincing win in round one. Like I was saying, that's virtually two weeks ago almost. So now here on the last day, and it's going to be battle again. It's probably not Shannon's best start. Three loose bowls. It'll be three shots to Australia. Big opportunity here on this very first end of this men's semi-final. Looks like it'll be number four up to Australia. So some work to do now for Shannon McElroy from New Zealand. Well, what an important bowl this is. First end. Absolutely. Four down. The New Zealander. It's a better line. But it's not good enough. He is going to be staring down the barrel of a very healthy. Four yellow. It is going to be four. four. And so four After shots end, to Leif Selby from the first Leif end. He couldn't have asked for a better start. And Shannon McElroy head down and wondering, what have I done there? Yes, the perfect start for Leif Selby. Four, a maximum of four on the very first end. Well, that'll give him some confidence. A dream start, really. Australia's had some great success already in these World Championships. thing we have noticed to Kelvin over the course of these championships and particularly the last couple of days as these players have there's a touch a bit, a little bit too much weight as the players have become a little bit more familiar with this TV green which has only been used in the last part of the championships they are now really starting to stay away from the ditch side as we we call it here and You'll see most from that end on the back end, I would think, because it just seems to be a, a real difference between how the, the ball rolls on either side of this TV rink, particularly coming the way they're coming now. Yes, definitely. The corporate side tends to be the, the more favoured side now. Just seems to be a little bit kinder. see Shannon with good weight it's a little bit narrow the players have struggled at times on this TV rink though as we're saying it hasn't been played on until just the last few days of the event and with a bit of wind swirling around a bit of a tunnel atmosphere it tends to be that every day we've had a little bit of breeze it is different on the eye too, isn't it? With the grandstands and the marquees and and so on, as opposed to the other 
rinks where there's four and five uh, matches going on at one time. It just seems this seems a lot smaller. Yeah, absolutely. And, and if you haven't been on here, there's a nice bowl from McElroy, his best of the final so far. That'll make him feel better. That's a good bowl there, from Shannon. Leif Selby from the Rarilla Club near Wollongong. What can he do? He needs to make some contact with his own bowl, but he's just missed it. It looks like the New Zealander is going to have a fight back on this second end. He really needed to win the end after dropping a maximum four on the first end. It's always good to get on the board. I don't like to be stuck on, on nil for too long, especially when it's the semi-final of this men's singles. You can see how strong that breeze is and it's coming straight down the green, straight into the face of Shannon McElroy here. So he's bowling back up into the wind. Hold shot. <coughs> Not a bad line. If it reaches, he could pick up another. It's got a fall in, and it could be two, although I think Shannon's suggesting just the one. Yes, just the one for Shannon McElroy, which settles his nerves, gets him on the board. But it's still a healthy 4 1 lead for Lake Silby after two ends. Now you see the tree in the behind the main grandstand blowing around. Just shows you there's quite a bit of wind blowing. You've got the Adelaide flag in the background also whistling around. A healthy crowd building at Lockleys. Just right next to Adelaide Airport. About uh, 10 minutes from Glenelg and about 10 minutes west of the city. Shannon McElroy once again, another narrow bowl. He, he's got great weight. So he's just pinched his line a little bit. It was in this direction that he dropped four on the first end, so... Life doesn't like this one. It looks like it's going to turn a bit as well. There's Shanna McElroy's girlfriend, Amy, looking on, smiling at the moment. Girlfriend, I should have said fiance. They are getting married in January. That's good correction. That's a good ball. Now, Lake Selby needs to put a good six feet on his first ball. He's saying hurry. Well, he's not going to be too far away if he's if he's there. Well, he looks good. A good bowl here from the Aussie. Perfect bowl. Great correction. Leif Selby looking very confident. As we're saying, the Australian team has been exceptional. These World Championships. This is a bit wide. He's overcorrected here. McElroy, but what we've found is that the margin for error, Kelvin, is really very slim on this green. If you you can be maybe an inch either side of the right line and be a couple of feet out. Yes, there's no doubt. It's it's a little bit tricky at times. Especially if you get it on the wider side of the line swing. you take. Swing. He's a lathe. Wanted to swing and it just didn't come back as much as he wanted it to. Yeah. 
Close, but think what? Sorry? One down. One Close down. to second. I've noticed two of the championships are international markers. Don't like using the paddles that much. It's always good to know. It's good for the spectators, of course, as well, so they know exactly what's going on. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, this is a good effort. Just going to ride past. That's a good bowl. <clears throat> Only about nine inches through, so not a lot of room for... Leaf, good bowl coming in. It just held off a touch, just sliding past the shot bowl. Australia's Leif Selby. Can Leif Selby make it two? <coughs> Staring it down. Might just come underneath. One yellow? Yeah. One yellow? It's a sweep, right? It's a bizarre. It is one. Graham Gibbons, the marker, gives one to Australia. Shannon McElroy discussing with the coach. 5 1 in Australia. How hard he is finding the right line, particularly as he's bowling from his commentary box in back towards where the players are now. 5 1 after three ends to Leif Selby. Many outstanding state, national, and international events, particularly on the sporting arena. Events South Australia is a proud major partner of the 2012 World Championships. Fourth end here, Leif Selby leading by four shots. First to 21. Well, once again, Leif Selby just urging his bowl on, telling it to hurry. It's pretty handy. It's up into the wind towards the commentary box. Fairly stiff head breeze. Just running through with his first, about a metre. And there's Lindsay Armitage. Team captain. You can see that ball really coming back there. Bit of a side win. There's the Australian team. Better late than never. A few of the boys in the triples and fours are enjoying being in Glenelg last night with their competition over. Yes, they've definitely uh, been out <laughs> celebrating. All <laughs> holding. I don't think the Sunnies will be off today. <laughs> would, have a, New would have had a big hearty breakfast as well and be feeling really chipper. Aaron Sheriff, they're on the left at the back. And McElroy holds shot here. Swing. He's not too far away here, Leif Selby. Close to the jack. And that's a good bowl. Well played. Be one to Australia. And with the winner of this match going on to play Ryan Bester from Canada, who's already through to the men's final. This could be okay. Just going to catch his own front bowl. He was very good if he would have missed it. His weight was good. So it's going to be one to Australia. Looks a little wide on this occasion. Just wanted to make another counter. Which is what we were speaking about on that side of the rink, weren't we? That was on the on the ditch side. He was on his forehand. I dare say he's going to play a bit of a running shot. Here it comes. 
Well, he's in the area. Needs a bit of luck now, and he's not going to get it, though. So it'll be one to Australia. So Leif Selby, he'll extend yeah. his lead. It is one to the Aussie. And it is 6-1 after four one ends. Leif Selby Leif over Shannon McElroy. Second semi-final, the winner will play Ryan Bester in the final. Life urging his bowl on. Set in relation to Jack, please. Look how strong that wind is now. That's a massive gum there above the grandstand. And at times, I'd hate to be sitting underneath it. It's blowing that bad. Uh, it's very windy. Probably one of the windiest days we've had, actually, for the whole entire tournament. Shannon McElroy, he started off playing the forehand, same side as Leif Selby. He's actually chosen to go to the, the other side, play his backhand. Just struggling a little bit in this direction, away from the commentary box. I don't think Leif Selby liked this one. He's got good weight, but I think he's just going to run away a little bit. Perfect weight it was. Just struggling for line and weight in this direction. Of course, Leif Selby, he was the silver medalist at the 2010 Commonwealth Games Hurry. in India. And he'd, he'd love Hurry. to have the opportunity to play for the World Outdoor Singles Crown. Gold medal. Needs a close bowl. He's, he's three down. There's, there's still plenty of room for him. And he's got to get the jack because he's still going a little bit. Oh, he's got a bit of the jack. I don't know whether it's enough, though. Push. Push. He's just got to get there. If he can get past that bowl... It's already a counter. That's definitely one to Australia for sure. And he's certainly going for it. He's looking for the jack. Well, he's watching it very closely. He's going to get the shot bowl, I think. And he has, so he's going to... He may I think, pick up shot here. I think that bowl will be the shot. It is one to Shannon McElroy. So that Shannon is McElroy a major turnaround there. Leif Selby still leads 6-2, but it could have been so much worse for the Kiwi. Wind speed 24 kilometres an hour from the south southeast. It's basically a headwind in the direction that the players are playing now. And that's a good opening bowl from Shannon McElroy. will be urging his bowl on. He's not going to get there. The greens actually look looks like it's run a little bit quicker today. This men's semi-finals probably around the 15 and a half second pace. Oh. 
going to be disappointed with that bolt. Leif Selby, can he correct on his first bowl? He's got the wider line here, though. He's going to struggle to get back from there. So it was good weight correction, but he just went a little too wide. He's going to get there again. Just pulling up. Just Around the one, Graham. Metre short. Yeah. Fancy just a one down. Definitely one, mate, or is it close? It's one. Confident call there from the marker. Just the one. Now you see the, the big crowd on the big grandstand side. Leif Selby. One down. Swing. He's got a good track. He's just got to get there. That's all. He's still coming. Very close to drawing the shot here. I don't think he's quite got there. Great effort. Be very careful that he doesn't run into Leif Selby's last bowl. He could give it away if that was to happen. Well, he's, <laughs> he's going to be close to doing it. Well, he's got away with it, I think. Might be a measure now. Bit of a risky shot, wasn't it? But I think he still might have shot. One it looks that way. The New Zealand bowl, Jack High. Forehand here for Selby. He'll be looking... Get in between those two Kiwi bowls. Yes, and if you could trail the Jack, there'd be a chance. It's just got to let go. If he can get back and sit the shot bowl, he's too not going to turn, though. Too much weight from out there. And the first time in this semi-final, Shannon McElroy has won back-to-back -back ends. And the gap narrows again. It is 6-3 to Leif Selby, first to 21. This is the start of the seventh end. Can Leif Selby bounce back here? Straight ends to Shannon McElroy. The last five ends in this semi-final have just been one-shot ends after it was four to Leif Selby on the first end. Yes, Leif Selby, he could have got away. Could have been further in front, but Shannon McElroy just hanging in. Six three. Life still be the Aussie. Just in front. He's played this direction pretty well, but he's gonna be a bit unlucky here and turn Shannon's furthest bowl a little bit closer. It's not the ideal start on this end for the Australian. around it'll nearly be a counter Let's just run on a little bit oh boy. Well, I don't know whether they fly like that he's gonna need a bit of luck he's got his own short bowl if he could run into it and that's exactly what he's done he's turned it up almost for shot last bowl here for McElroy So 
Dave Selby's going to wander down and have a look here. He's down a shot. There's a bit of space there. Yes, he's going down to have a bit of a look. He's only one down. Probably pretty lucky only to be one down. He turned his own closest bowl up. Probably a good metre. Lee Selby, can he come up with the goods here? He leads 6-3, one down. Any contact with his own front bowl would nearly be enough, but he's going to slide by. Three straight ends here to Shannon McElroy. And it is now 6-4. Still the Aussie in front. It's all about building pressure, and if you can put opposition under the under the pump, his first opening bowls can be so critical. It just gives you a, a really good solid start and foundation to work with. It tends to be a tough rink to get out of trouble. It's always good if you can be holding the shots, I think. Life Selby almost getting there. Shannon McElroy. Lovely weight with his first bowl. And this is good correction as well. Good weight once again. Lee Selby needs about 18 inches on his first bowl. He's only got to get here. I think he's going to do it. He's just got to pass that and it'll be close for a shot. Well, maybe just fell out. Looks like one to New Zealand. Loose bowl from the New Zealander. Bit of a headwind. Life Selby on his forehand, switching hands. Got his own two bowls to, to work with. Turn up. We can beat the New Zealanders Jack High bowls. He's just on the outside. He's actually turned them closer. Last bowl on this end for the New Zealander. He definitely holds one. He could draw a toucher, he can make Eight. maybe three. He's definitely going to have two. A little touch of the jack. Focus of concentration by the Australian. Well, he's having a run, having a drive. Is it going to turn enough? Well, he's got his own bowl, so it's definitely going to be three to the New Zealander. That is a massive end for Shannon McElroy. An interesting choice of shot there from Leif Selby. And it is three to New Zealand, and for the first time in their semi-final, Shannon McElroy is in front and has won four ends in a row. After trailing 6-1 after four ends, he now leads 7-6 after eight. That was an interesting choice of shot there from... Leif Selby, the shot before from Shannon McElroy, it, it moved the jack out into the open on Leif's backhand. Yes, definitely. I think there was uh, an opportunity maybe just to draw or at least cut the number of shots down. A fairly rash shot, I would think. Uh, it wasn't a big target. And there was a few short bowls in the way as well. So, A shot of frustration, maybe. A shot of 
it certainly it wasn't a, a shot of confidence because there was certainly, you know, a good 15, 16 inches you could have drawn for shot. And once again, Shannon McElroy just starting to pick up the pace. Leads for the first time in this match, 7-6. And four ends in a row. As his last few ends, he just tends to be building on confidence. And as you see from Leif Selby, that's a, one of his probably poorest opening bowls of the match. So maybe starting to feel the pressure. It is the men's single semi final. It's the been a dramatic turn since Shannon killed the fifth end when. Leif possibly held three to go to nine one. He killed the end, Shannon, and since then he's won every end and is now leading the game. Could have been down nine one. Could have been nine one quite easily. But with Shannon getting that result, it gave him a bit more confidence. And since then he's put four ends on the trot together. And you see that bowl of Leif Selby's a couple of metres narrow so it's tricky the wind's gusting around this is going to be another counter for the New Zealander so Leif Selby from Australia he needs to get back on track as close as he can all on his way here. Needs a clear run. Can he get around that? He's not going to. But he'll reduce it back to one. They still be on screen. Looks a little bit frustrated. Arms crossed. He's never one for really showing a huge amount of emotion on the green, but you, you just get a sense there of he's a bit perplexed as to what's going on at the moment. The first two bowls in this end were really wide for a player of his quality. He's two very loose opening bowls, and I was saying if you can build momentum and beat your opposition yep. to it first and... Shannon McElroy, real opportunity here to make two, and that's a great bowl from the New Zealander. And now Leif Selby, and he's only got one bowl. Look at this on replay, little inside rub coming through, but his weight was good. Leif Selby's only got one in four, really, so he has the best back bowl, back of the rink. Suggesting weight here. I'm pretty sure that Leif Selby will play a little bit of weight. He's not playing a lot, though. Well, I don't know whether Leif Selby's even up. He's not near it. And five ends in a row for the Kiwi. And that is two to New Zealand. And now lead 9-6. Shannon McElroy, 9 Look at that, five straight ends for the Kiwi. And he has a handy three-shot lead after nine. It is the first to 21. Here's Andrew Holmes with Mark Casey. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Uh, Mark Casey, uh, a world champion in your own right now. Uh, gold in the fours. Uh, congratulations. Yeah, thanks, Andrew. It was um, just a great honour, obviously, to, to win gold for Australia. But, um, yeah, at the moment, we're trying to get Leif home, so it's, uh, it's really good. Tell us about the conditions out here now. The wind has really picked up and he's just sort of faded after that really good start he had. Yeah, obviously, um, you know, we always know it's going to be pretty windy here in Adelaide. So, uh, you know, they start off well. Shannon's coming back as we, as we know he can do. So it's, uh, it's going to go down the wire, I think. It's good for you guys to be able to get out here, obviously, during, out, during the championships. Uh, your fours and his singles were played at the same time. So you haven't seen much of him, but he was in good form winning 11 of his uh, qualifying matches in a row. 
yeah, obviously Lace, uh, one of the best singles players in the world, so, um, you know, he's a class act and, um, you know, we want nothing more than um, for him to win gold, so if, if he can win gold, we've, we've all got one, so it'd be, it'd be great. Uh, your championships uh, ended on a great note with that gold, as I said, and uh, your family, wife Teresa and uh, little son uh, Jackson's been here. That was good for you to have the family here and uh, showing their support. Oh, it meant ev everything to me. Um, it was a lot easier having them here. Uh, they, they were here for sort of the last 10 days, so it's, uh, yeah, it made my job a lot easier. Thanks for your time. Thanks, mate. Once your opponent gets on that momentum train, Kelvin, it's very hard to stop isn't it? And that's what's happening here at the moment. Shannon McElroy growing in confidence and exactly the opposite here for Leif Selby. And he's struggling to find line, length, rhythm, everything at the moment. Yes, no, he's got off to a good start, Leif Selby, but his last three or four ends, he's, he's just struggling. I think not only... He looks frustrated too as well, so... He's got to be careful. He can't afford to let it get to him. His shot selection, a bit strange a couple of times, but there's still a long way to go. It is the first of 21. As we've seen in some of the matches, if you can get in front, especially on this TV rink, it's, it can, I guess, drain your confidence. It is difficult at times. The wind swirling. This is a good bowl. This will be the number one shot. Yeah, good bowl from Leif Selby. Big one here for McElroy. He's down a shot. He's won five in a row. He'll be desperate to keep the foot on the throat here of Leif Selby. His third bowl was a long way short. He's on the forehand again. Out on that ditch side. It's a nice try. But for the first time in a while, Wave Selby heads back to the mat. A shot up. Yes, McElroy just running through there a touch. Life still be an opportunity to make two, and I really feel that he needs to make this count. Get him back on the roll. He holds one. He's almost got two feet to draw an, another counter. Very wide. It's not going to come back from out there, I don't think. Life didn't like it from the moment he let it go. A bit too much weight. That's why he's going to run past. He does stop the bleeding a bit. And it will be one to Leif Selby for the first time since the fourth end. The Australian has picked up a shot. And so after 10, it is Shannon McElroy leading 9-7. So the next step here for Leif Selby is to, to make it back to back. And then he'll feel like he's back in the match. Yes, he's just got to dig away, chip away, get that confidence look back. He's showing a little bit of negativity. And he only trails by two. And of course, it's 21 shots up. And the winner of this game will play Ryan Bester for the gold medal. This World Outdoor Championship. Nice Selby. Crowd applauses, but it's probably run through a million metre, that bowl. And in this direction, they've actually got the wind behind them. So one way they've got to go into the wind. And in this particular direction, the wind, they've got a bit of a tailwind, so it'd be pushing the bowls downwind, down the rink. Selby just taking a slightly wider line than his opposition, but when you get out on this a little bit wide on this TV rink, it just doesn't get back. That's the end result there for Leif's bolt. On the flip side, if you're just a fraction narrow, it really hooks at times, doesn't it? And it bites away, yeah. He 
If you get under your line, it seems to turn a lot more. This looks okay. Just dying, but a nice little touch, and it'll end up very nicely there for Shannon McElroy. They still be already on the mat. Yeah, it's very quick. No mucking around. This is a bit better. And chance here. Can he get the Jack, the Australian? Jack in the middle would be a great result, and that's a fantastic bowl from Leif Selby. Responds with a beauty. Well, that should lift him. He needs to get the crowd involved too, doesn't he? See uh, the one on this side. What's that in relation to Jack, please? Heard this one. 12 inches short of Jack Eye. And the shot bowl? The shot bowl is 12 inches short, 11 inches short of Jack Eye. So Shannon McElroy staying on the forehand. He's going to follow the track of Leif Selby's last bowl. It's all on his weight here. He's got a turn. I don't think he's going to. And stop, maybe. Not quite. Not a bad try. It's a handy it's bowl there, though. Holding two. Two yellow. It's two to Australia. Leif Selby with a real opportunity to make it three. I don't think he's wide enough this time. Or if he can just get around the front. He's trying to. He's not going to. He's going to wreck on the New Zealander. I think he's going to opt for the draw. He was very close with his previous bowl, his third bowl. He takes the same line and just takes off about two feet. He'll be close. He's trying to draw the shot. It's a nice try. The weight may be a little bit too much on it. Two good attempts, but not quite good enough. And so back-to-back -back ends there for Leif Selby. And the momentum turning a little. It's now nine all. After 11 ends, it is the first to 21 for a spot in the final of the men's singles at the 2012 World Championships. Shannon McElroy. Yeah, right when you're playing with weight and stuff and you're trying to land something for a little hold, but drawing on it's not, not the same. Shannon McElroy discovering what we've noticed here on this TV green in the last week or so, the fact that uh, the ditch side doesn't turn that much and it can be a little bit fickle on the corporate side in the line. You have to almost be immaculate. Yeah, it's very interesting comments. Saying it's a little bit difficult. Play weight, it does hold. You've just got to have the perfect line. And as you can see, he's played this very well. Shannon McElroy, the New Zealander. It's a very good start. Selby urging his bowl on. He's got a bit of a headwind here. He's going to pull up well short. Breeze blowing into the players' faces in this direction. Sigh of relief, but it doesn't look too bad. It's going to be close for another counter. And that'll be two to the New Zealander. It's a lot wider line. It's all on his weight now. It's just got to stop. It's not going to. It's run through about a metre.
Well, it's locked up at nine all. This men's semi final. Shannon McRoy has played a pretty good position bowl. That'll almost count. But it's in a good home for the New Zealander. Holds two. Last bowl at this end here for Leif Selby. He's not mucking around. Very quick. He's got about two inches to draw the shot. If he can get it back to just one would be a good result. He's going to be very close to getting second shot. Falls over would be certainly second. Mark is going to have a look. One on the measure. It looks like just the one, possibly. And there you see it, the green bowl of Leif Selby's last bowl was second shot, so you'd be happy with that. He's not going to be heavy. He doesn't want to give it away. So it'll be one shot to the New Zealander. So Shannon McElroy back in front, 10-9 after 12 ends. And for the second time in this match, it's level. It was level at nine all after 11 ends. And it's now 13 all after 18. Once again, the New Zealander going for a good three-quarter length. He's not quite throwing it as long downward as he is up into the wind. His first bowl about a metre short. It's a good bowl here from the Australian, Leif Selby. We're locked up at 13 all. This men's semi final was the winner to go through to play Ryan Bester from Canada, the Canadian, for the gold medal. Well, it's even Stevens at this stage. Whoever can play the best over these next few ends. Give themselves the biggest opportunity to play for the world title. He's battling himself and his opponent, Leif Selby, isn't he? Just hanging in there. In fact, it's a, most probably a bigger battle with himself. That is with Shannon McElroy, who seems to be a lot more comfortable with his game, although that's not his best bowl. Oh, that's a poor bowl. I think he was undecided. He thought about changing changing hands. So a real opportunity here for the Australian. Holds two. Big chance to draw for three. It looks good. He's only got to beat that bowl to count. And that's exactly what he's done. So it'll be three shots to the Australian. What an important end this is now. 13 all. The Australian holding three. And only one bowl left for the New Zealander. Well, he's got a chance. I mean, he can he can either just try and draw. Probably, it's probably it's easier shot than any. That's three. But I mean, like, I could play a good shot down the other side and just get caught on that, 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 that wing bowl. Yeah. I'll just play through, right through. Well, it looks like he's going to play.
play a bit of weight. It's probably his best option. I mean, he is three down, but he, if he could get onto the shot bowl, the closest bowl, and maybe push it onto the jack. He's got a blue bowl waiting just behind. Or if he could reduce it, he'd be happy to go one down or two down, but he's three down as we stand. And there's Shannon's fiance, Amy. Big moment here. We're about to find out. It's close. It's close. He's going to get past the front. Well, he's got a good result because he's got two of the Australians' bowls out. He's only one down. <laughs> but a big chance for the Australian to make it two. He's got a good metre. You would think to draw another. I think Shannon McElroy from New Zealand would be happy with that result. He was three down and now he's only one. We've got a bowl to come. You would back Leif Selby here, but this is a World Championship semi-final. No shot is easy. Hurry. This is looking OK. Hurry. He wants it to hurry, though. Hurry. It's got to go. It's got to go. It's just inside, I think. It will be two. <laughs> He was a little bit nervous there for a moment, but he did pick up the two and shots, Leif Selby, which gives him a two-shot lead, 15-13 after 19 ends. He had a few people a little bit nervous there for a moment. Yes, just enough room to make it two. But once again, the Australian takes a two-shot lead. If you can just string a couple of ends together here, Leif. He's on the home straight. He only needs six to win. Let's right, head downstairs. Here is Andrew Holmes with Robbie Dobbins. Yeah, Robbie, uh, we're closing in on this match now. Uh, it's just the six shots to get, but they're hard, aren't they? They're going to be hard. You know, I think it's going to be a real arm wrestle from here on to the finish. You know, Leif's struggled a little bit sort of in this game. You know, he's playing sort of under some overs and sort of things. So I don't think he's even sort of hit his straps yet. So hopefully he can sort of get together for the next few ones and finish off. He's come across to you a couple of times and you've had a chat to him. What are some of the things going through his mind? Well, you know, I, I think he sort of understands that he's not playing at his best at the moment. And he's just uh, hoping that sort of he can come to terms with before the end of the game. He knows what it takes to get the job done, though. Absolutely. Like Good he's luck. a street fighter. He'll do the job. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, nice Selby. Let's string a few ends together, and this looks really good from the Australian. Well, we're closing in on this business end of the, the semi final. This is the most important time the home finish, the home straight. Well, the New Zealander, he's close as well. Just runs away, so it's still two to Australia. My <coughs> Selby just looks that little bit more confident now. He's, he's sort of strutting down the green with a bit of confidence. Oh, he's tucked the jack in. It's probably a better two. Oh, we may see a weighted shot here. From the New Zealander. And that's what we're going to see. He didn't get the way real well. He pulled his arm across his body, and the end result being a narrow miss. And a big opportunity. If he could make three here, it'd put the pressure on the New Zealander. I don't think he's got the legs. Hurry. He's trying to hurry it on. But it's going to be a nuisance. It's, it's a blocker, in the, isn't it? It is. It's on the line. It narrows the, the gap. Well, he's got to get through a few bowls to knock away the shot bowl. Well, he's got to be careful here. Shannon McElroy, he's only got the one blue bowl in amongst the Australian four bowls. So if he was to have it go and get a bad result and peel his own bowl out, would leave the Australian with four shots. Huge moment. So he's got to be a little careful. 
What's he do then? Well, I think he might gamble and have a bit of a... He's, he's already had a go. He missed. But it could go bad. He's, he's at the mat now. He's still undecided. He knows there's risk if he plays a drive. Sorry, can you move to this one? Cheers, Mike. Right. Just Him. asking the... Marker, I think, to move a little bit. He may try and draw. Is he going to attack? Well, it looks like he's gone back to defence and he's on the draw. So he's going to try and reduce the Australian count. On the ditch side. And that's a very difficult side to play. And the end result will be wide and heavy. It is two. So back-to-back -back ends where Lay Selby has picked up two shots. And 13 all has become 17-13. And Lay Selby is now within one end of being into the final. It's 21 is the target. There's four shots available each end. He won the first end by four. It'd be highly unlikely he would do it again, but it's at that stage where Shannon McElroy will have to think about if he's not up, maybe killing ends as well, which sometimes leaves you open to dropping big numbers. Yes, and I think it's just over these last few ends that Leif Selby, he's, he's just grown with a bit of confidence. Shannon McElroy on the previous end was undecided. And the end result was he didn't do anything with his last bowl. You've got to be 100% committed to the shot you select to play. And I think Shannon was in two minds. And it's the Australian just edging ahead. Lead 17-13. 24 inches short of Jack Eye. 21 shots up. So he only needs four to win. He's not going to be too far away with this one either. I just feel that the Australian is growing in confidence on the home straight. really believe the New Zealander, he's got to win this end if he's to stay in this match. It's Lace Selby, he'll, he'll feel the, the home gate coming. Although this is a great bowl from the Kiwi. Perfect bowl. A look of steely determination there, wasn't there? It's three quarters of a bowl short of Jack One White. down, one down, am I? I'm just telling the voice of Leif Selby. Close on that decision. A Thank bit you. more confident. Seems more focused now, the Australian. Push. Push. Hurry. Well, he's calling it to hurry. Is he going to get there? Just slides under, but it's a good second shot. Great effort. There's the Australian team cheering on his teammate. Both the men's and ladies. Shannon just pulling up short. Narrowed that gap though for Leif to come on the forehand here. It's a very difficult lie now. He's got to be a bit careful, Leif Selby. Any contact on the shot bowl would force the jack back, and Shannon McElroy has a back bowl, so he doesn't want to give him any extra ones. It's his last bowl of this 21st end. Leads by four, but down a shot here. Well, he's going for this. Leif Selby trying to peel it out. Just misses by millimetres. 
Well, he went for it. Now McElroy, there's some room here. He just has to arrive at his shot bowl, doesn't he? And he picks up two. Well, it'd be a big confident booster if the New Zealander could make two. Maybe even with a little bit of weight, he'll pick up three. Yeah, well, he can afford to be there. Like I said, if he can crack it, crack onto his own shot bowl. He's only going to push the jack back to his other back bowl. He's got nothing to lose here. He can't give the shot away. He'd be very unlucky for that to happen. But he has changed hands and he's gone to the, the grandstand side, which is not easy to play. This isn't there. You can see the narrow line he's taken. One. Yep. It is one to New Zealand. It was a must-win end. And he'll take the shot, Shannon McElroy. And I think Leif Selby will be happy that yes. it was only the one Selby, that he 17, dropped. 17, 14. 14. Here's the score to the Aussie. And a lengthy end here from the Kiwi. That's Shannon McElroy. He's been playing the sort of three-quarter lengths for most of this game. Leif Selby's just been throwing sort of medium lengths. Well, this looks pretty quick. He's got a bit on this, Leif Selby. Pretty lucky to stay on the green. Might hang on at the back. Straight into the wind they are. The wind blowing directly down the centre rink. That'll be two. You can see Leif Selby's bowl dropped in the ditch, his first bowl. Shekini correct. Swing. If it turns hard now, he's Swing. a chance. He gets around that and falls. It'd be close for shot, and it does fall. It could be the shot bowl. Very close. It's not a bad track. It's the inside of that. That'll be good enough for one. It's one to New Zealand. He trails 14 17. Oh. Now Leif Selby telling his bowl to hold. And he waits not too bad. And if he can hold. get the jack, hold. he get the jack. That's a great bowl from the Australian Leif Selby. That'll give him two shots. It gives the Kiwi something to think about with his final bowl of this end. Well, this is a critical bowl now for the New Zealander doesn't do something he could be staring down the barrel of 20 to 14. gotta go well he needs a clear road if he's yeah. going to be a chance well he's played a terrific bowl the new zealander and what a great bowl from shannon mcelroy from new zealand a front toucher bowl of his life that's kept him alive and there's one bowl remaining on this end Australian Leif Selby. Can he get rid of that bowl? Well, two seconds, the Australian. He doesn't like it. He's missed. He's hit the front Kiwi bowl, and that's all. And so it is one more to New Zealand. Back-to-back -back ends for Shannon McElroy. What a terrific bowl it was when he was staring down the barrel to come up with the perfect bowl. It was head down to Andrew Holmes. Yeah, thanks, Mark. Amy's uh, joined us again, and uh, that was a really important end for him, just to stay in touch and not give Leif too much headway. Yeah, definitely. He, he needed one there, that's for sure. <laughs>
How are you finding his uh, his attitude out there? Is he really still staying calm and relaxed? Yeah, um, we spoke before the game and we had three things that we were going to do and he's doing all three pretty well, so that's good. And what about your nerves? Um, I'm still good. I'm still good. Okay. Good luck for the rest of the match. <laughs> Thanks. She doesn't sound it, if you ask me. I reckon she had trouble talking there at times. And who can blame her? No, that was a telling bowl on that last end. A big bowl, and that could be a telling bowl of this game. If he does go on to win Shannon McElroy, for me, that is the bowl that wins the match for him. Terrific shot. It would have been a big advantage for the Australian. It would have taken him up to 19. But now it's the New Zealander. He only trails by two, 15-17. And his first bowl is a good opening bowl. And Lace Selby, a couple of metres through with his first. So the pressure's on both these players now. With the nitty gritty end of the game. A lot better here if he can get around that last bowl of Shannon Hurry. McElroy's, and he has. Terrific shot by the Australian. Absolutely perfect. Shannon McElroy changing to the backhand. No short ends yet. I don't think he's going to turn on that side. The ball holding its line. Any sort of weight down there on that particular side of the rink just doesn't give. Not mucking around here, Leif. Ooh. He looks a bit quicker. Stop. He's calling it the stop. He's not too far away if again does stop. Just rolled on. Well, it looks wide again to me. It just doesn't come back. And you can see that bowl just holding on. Not much turn at all to it on that particular side of the rink. And then the end result was. Two poor bowls, really, for Shannon. And they know that, but they just can't bring themselves to be narrower, can they? Big opportunity here for Leif. Does he try and draw, maybe try and knock that bowl out of the way to pick up three? He's on the same line. Has he got the weight? Well, he's got to miss the front bowl to be any chance, and I don't know whether he's going to get there. Well, that'll be short. One. That is still one, though, to Leif Selby. He'd rather do it in bigger numbers, but one's better than nothing. It is now 18-15. 23 ends gone. He's three away from a spot in the final. The New Zealander, he won't be giving up. Just the Australian has got his nose in front. It's a good start by the Australian. Well, this is a big end as well. Wave Selby only needs three to win to advance to the final. Holds one. He's on a good track again here. Sits on his own bowl, it'll be perfect. It'll be two.
Shannon McElroy. Looks like this is going to pull up short. So a real opportunity for the Australian. Leif Selby. Holding two, drawing for three, and that's all he needs to win the match is three. Swing. Well, he's on track again. Swing. Gets a sit. And that'll be good enough. So it's three to Australia. Which is what he needs to get into the final. So Shannon McElroy again finds himself in that situation where he needs something special here. Can he correct? He needs to. Well, it's all on his weight. Hey. Is it going to get there? Well, it's not far away. It's certainly going to reduce it. Well, he's definitely cut it back. I would dare say the Australian holds one. I'll have to wait. Confirmation. It looks like one to the Aussie. I think the marker said it's a measure. Looks like the green bowl. Well inside. Could even be two. Not sure. This is wide. It's coming back. Hey. Life's hey. chasing. It looks too wide to me. It does. It just won't get back. It's 18-15 to Australia. Got to be careful here as well. It's not going to get there. Looks on the wide side to me. It's going to be a measure, we feel. Leif's saying definitely his. Leif Selby's very confident. Yep. One to the Aussies. And so Leif Selby edges just a little bit closer. 19-15 after 24 ends. Disappointing end to that end for McElroy. Never really got near. And Jack, mind you, the last couple of bowls, there are a couple of the girls. Tasha Van Eldick and Lindsay Armitage, the skipper in the middle, and Kelsey Cottrell, boys <laughs> behind. All rugged up. Rebecca Quayle there. Kelsey trying to get the uh, colour back in the arms. Well, may they be in a joyous mood. It's been a terrific World Championships for the Australians. Mike Selby looking for a spot in the final. He's the only member of the Australian team not to win a gold medal so far. Yes, the Australian team has been outstanding at these World Championships and it's possibly the best performance by an Australian team at any World Championships. Already three gold medals. Wave Selby playing for a spot in the final. And of course, Karen Murphy is in the final. Life still be urging his bowl on. Oh, that's a terrific shot by the Australian. And now the mindset of this man changes a bit because he knows any mistake and the match is over. Yes, he only needs two to win. Shannon McElroy, we're just trying to get second shot. It's going to be very difficult to get the shot. Life's bowl is only a matter of inches off the jack. He's got two bowls left. Does he start to think about killing the end as well? Yes, he'll be, he'll be working on... Well, he, he won't want to give two away, of course, but uh, all depends on this bowl, I guess. Leif Selby needs two to win. But the way Leif's shot bowlers covering the oh. jack, it would be hard to kill it from there, wouldn't it? Oh. Yeah, the big chance the jack would go straight down the back of the rink. 
He may. It's going to be interesting to see what Shannon decides here. It looks like he's still going to just stay on the forehand draw. Second shot's out there. The close thing. They're both equal distance. Well, it sounds like... Australian could have two. Is this bowl going to turn enough? No, it's not. Oh. Remembering that Shannon has a bowl to play. And Leif Selby, can he make it two? Needs two to win. It's wide. Well, that's not going to come back from out there. There's no that's chance right. that'll come back. And then you hear it, Leif, it's gone straight. <laughs> well, what does he play here? Shannon McElroy. He's down a shot. Trails by four. Tries to run in contact with the match. Got to be so careful here, Shannon McElroy. Well, he's trying to tap the shot ball back to his yeah. to make contact, but he's got to be so careful. Well, he's played a terrific ball, Shannon McElroy. Well, I think it's still shot to the Aussies, to the Aussie of Leif Selby. One, yep. One black. One to black. Well, what a ball from the New Zealand. Fantastic. Pick up one. How did he manage it's that? Leif Shelby, 19. Shannon McElroy, 16. So it's 19 16 to the Australian. Leif Selby from the Rilla Club in New South Wales. We've got Shannon McElroy from Nelson in New Zealand. Well, a good trail of the Jack. He was a bit heavy, but he's got a re good result. Selby looks a little bit quick here. Just got to stop. Going to run through about a metre. As we've mentioned, he is unbeaten in this tournament. Clay Selby and Paul Foster's the only bowl that's come close to him. 21-19. The next best is this, 16 shots. It's a real test here Hurry. for run. Leif Selby. Run. Leif run. calling out, wants his bowl to run. He's got to run a long way. Well, he's still coming. It's going to be Hurry. close. It'll be number one for the Australian. trying to draw the shot under the hurry Life Selby can he play the same ball needs two well it's all on his weight Ooh. very close it's Ooh. only got to stop Ooh. And if it falls over it could be very close to two Looking at it. <coughs> well, the mark is looking. 
Mm. Well, life, mm. life fancies his bowl. Shannon's going to have a chat. Oh, think about driving, but two. But the blue balls are slightly shorter the of the head. The back one does beat the, the back one does beat the other green one. But I mean, it's only it's not much target. How yeah, precise you're going to have to be there on that putty. I only got this yeah, to draw. Yeah. I mean, if I'm wide, I could get a result of the blues. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, you get, you just with coming into that breeze there, yeah, you just don't want that, buddy. Mm. You can tell me. I mean, look, at your, look at your third bowl. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. thought you were pretty good. You thought you were pretty good, did you? Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, was that real good? Yeah, there, and it's just ten and straight back. Mm. Was that real good? Been sober for two days, it's yeah, still no good. Yeah. Oh, I think so. It's his last bowl. Is it his last bowl of this tournament? I've been sober for two days and still my eyes aren't real good. But I'm, I'm thinking I'm like... Lakes just off talking to Steve Glasson at the moment. And his opponent is trying to stay in this world championship. This is it. He's been here before. He saved himself twice. Well, he's going to drive Shannon McElroy on the mat. Can he keep his hopes alive? He needs to remove one of the green Australian bowls. Lake well, Selby's not even watching. What's going to happen? He's hit Well, there. he's hit it, but what's happened? Where's the jack gone? Well, it's in, in the, the ditch. ditch. Is there... Did he touch it, the jack? I don't think he did with his driving bowl. I think it's one to Australia. Checking to see whether that was... Bit. Didn't it hit the top of the... Did it hit, didn't it hit this? Did it hit this? Did it catch your bank? Did no, that's dead. Is that dead? Yeah, no, but didn't it hit this? Hit the back? Sorry. Hit the back, it's dead? Umpire says it's dead. Dead? Dead. Well, this is a big call. Umpire says it's dead. Well, this would be interesting to see on the replay, maybe. So they're saying the jack hit the backboard, not into the ditch. Is that what they're saying? Well, I'd like to see this again. Here we go. The New Zealand drive. Okay contact onto the shot bowl onto the jack but are we going to see where it hits yeah. here we go well it's certainly gone in the air i think it could be the right decision they're saying it's hit the top of the ditch and maybe the backboard and come back into the ditch i don't know Just well, that, that would see be from extraordinary that angle. if that happened to hit the back board and then come back and land in the ditch is a pretty good effort but that's the call both players have accepted it Shannon McElroy stays alive again. Well, here we go. Let's see from this angle. The jack definitely lifts quite high over that bowl. You can't tell from that, but the players have agreed. The umpires called it that way, and you're not going to change the call. Shannon McElroy has done it again. He saved it. He was down game. Big bowl by the New Zealander. Leif Selby wasn't even watching. He had the head down over speaking with Steve Glasson. No, well, I think he, he, he thought that it had gone in the ditch and was going back to play his bowl. It's not to be. We're on the replay of that end. It's a loose bowl by the New Zealander. So can Leif Selby repeat the previous end? He held game. Can he do it again? It looks a good start by the Australian. That's a terrific start by Leif Selby. Absolutely perfect. When it was required. It's 1916 to the Australian. Shannon McElroy on the mat, playing his backhand. He needs to get as close as he can. He doesn't want Lake Selby to get two. I'm just going to run under. It's a good home there. That's the way the jack's angled. If the shot bowl was made with contact. 
be a good choice. Life Silb will go to his forehand. He doesn't want to run into the shot bowl. But there hasn't been too many bowls played on this particular side. Is it going to turn enough? Well, it's coming now. It's a very good shot by the Australian. That's come back more than we've seen most bowls all tournament. Good changeover. Oh, the wind's really gusting there now. Shannon McElroy trying to get second shot. Just ran on a fraction, but fell back nicely for him. Definitely only be one again. to hurry just depends how much this turns now it's just run away too far so down comes Shannon McElroy he's got one bowl left and he knows that his opponent has one after him his options are to kill the end or to just get it at a second in there that would make it very hard for, well, for Leif to get to. He can't afford to really have a go, I don't think, because if he was to take his own bowl out, that would leave him probably three down and match. He's either got to just dead draw the shot or maybe just play a little bit of weight on the backhand if it was any option, try and crack it. Crack the shot bowl and the jack could go back to the blue bowls, maybe. Lake's watching this one. He's got to be careful, though. I think he'll draw. And hope to concede just the one. And hope that Leif doesn't draw another one. If he could draw a toucher himself, though, of course... Be a terrific bowl. He's on the forehand. Hasn't been down here too often. Will it come back? Starting to. He's trying to get back. He's not going to get back enough, but. So the Australian of Leif Selby, 19-16. He needs two. He holds one. It'll be the last bowl of this end. Can he make of, it too? Plenty of room there, isn't there, for a player of Leif's class, but it's a tricky green, tricky conditions, and a world championship final spot up for grabs. Forehand. It's, it's on its way. This for a spot in the final. Hurry. This to end it now. He's got two feet. Hurry! Is it there? It's got to go. I don't think he's going to make it. It's still travelling, but it won't travel enough. On yellow. Well, a missed opportunity there by Leif Selby. He could have won the game there. Funny there, isn't it? Funny there. 2016. And he just continues to hang in there. Shannon McElroy. We've had 26 ends. Leif Selby has been so close. McElroy. Has saved himself on a couple of occasions. And on that occasion, Leif Selby wasn't able to draw another shot. So he's got to go around again. Oh, a missed opportunity there. Run. He only needs one now, the Australian. He's not far away. That's a good start again, Leif Selby. Side toucher. Sit on relation to Jack, please. Middle bowl, middle jack. Here's one. A very good bowl by the Australian. What a time to do it. Just needs one. Sounds easy. Sounds easy. It's got to be done, though. Yeah. Shannon 
Shannon, any touch would help him. Well, it's a terrific effort. He's wanting it to run. Hurry. He's on a good road. Hurry. He's wanting to hurry. I think he needs to just stop. If he could beat that back bowl, it'd be perfect. It's tight, isn't it? Might just be McElroy's. Shannon's is lying flat and Leif's is standing up. Well, what's the New Zealander do? He's he's gone on his backhand now. Been interesting because every time he's played this backhand, he's been wide all the time throughout this match. He hasn't played too many bowls on this particular side. And how's he going? He's a lot narrower Well, there. he's watching it. He's close, I think. Well, he's played a great shot, the New Zealander. It's an almighty bowl. One New Zealand. Sorry. Well, what a bowl from the Kiwi. And now it's back on the Australian of Leif Selby. He needs one. Oh. He wants it to hold. Hold. Oh. Is it going to stand up? No, it's not. One New Zealand. Go on, mate. And there it is. It's one to the New Zealand bowl. It's getting very exciting, this game, as we nail towards the finish. Been enthralling. The toing and froing, and Leif Selby's been battling himself as well as McElroy, who's come up with some enormous shots. Oh, Shannon McElroy. He likes this. He's chasing. He's just going to go through the hole, I think. Oh, good effort. It's only just run on. Well, the Australian has another opportunity. If he could draw the shot here. He would hold the game and match lie. It's with his last bowl at this end. With, of course, Shannon McElroy having one bowl left to play on this end also. Of course, if McElroy picks up, you know, two shots here, he's within sight of finishing it on any end. Here we go. Well, hang on, he's driving, looking for the shot bowl. Yeah. What's going to happen? He's got the hole. He's got his own bowl. And nothing much has changed there. Well, well, well. Interesting decision again. Very much so. There's plenty of room here for a little trail of the jack for the New Zealander. It could make a possible count of three or four. It'd be a terrific bowl to do so. I think he's just got to try and draw, yeah, though. I had to up there. Yeah. He's just got to draw, try and make it two, any touch on the jack. Yeah would push the jack back to the blue bowls. Could quite easily make three. And what a game we'd have on our hands then. It's almost sudden death then, isn't it? Well, here we go. It looks like he only holds one, though, there. Well, he's on his forehand. He was very close with his third bowl. He's been great saving shots here, Shannon McElroy. Can well, he hasn't got a bad line, I tell you. Yeah, well, I'm a bit yep. worried There's a chance of making another counter here. He likes it. A little touch on the jack could be bad news for Australia, but.
It's going to be three shots to New Zealand. It is the biggest end of this match for Shannon McElroy since the eighth end where he picked up three. It is now 20 points to nine, 20 shots to 19. Look at that bowl from Shannon McElroy. A little trail of Jack, as I suggested. Maximum result, three shots to the Kiwi. Let's head downstairs. Here's Andrew Holmes. Uh, Robbie, this game is shaping as a game that could almost be the final of the World Championships. Well, nothing more than we expected. You know, they're both sort of great players, and now it's sort of up to whoever's going to hold their nerve the best, I think. Yeah. How do you uh, how do you see Leif sort of handling this next sort of, uh, you know, two or three minutes? Because the pressure's been back on him now by Shannon. Well, you know, I think Leif's been here sort of, you know, quite a few times before, and I don't think I don't think it'll worry him the situation that's in now. It's a, and he's got a last bowl here, so that's uh, that's a definite advantage to us. So it just depends on how how uh, Shannon plays his first bowl. I think that'll that'll determine what happens in this end. Thanks for your time. Welcome. Well, as Robbie Dobbins was saying, his first bowl so important, and it's not going to be too close. It's going to be about a metre through. An opportunity for Leif Selby. He needs to get as close as he can. One right on would be perfect. Line's good. Well, it's just got to stop now. And it's still going. Oh, what a game. 2019 to Australia. The fight back of the... New Zealand player of Shannon McElroy. He's hanging in by the... Well, just hanging in, you would say. Well, his fighting qualities have been superb to get himself back in the match, but the fighting qualities of Leif Selby have also been superb to, to hang in when he hasn't been playing well. And now a couple of loose bowls here from Shannon McElroy. Sometimes this is the effort to get yourself back into matches the way he has can drain you can't it and then you know you feel when you get to this stage there's almost a little bit of a letdown that you've worked so hard absolutely i still be urging on this is going to be the shot it's only 18 inches away so that's very handy by the australian huge bowl here for shannon mcelroy yes his third bowl he hasn't really been near the jack yet He's got to put the pressure back on Leif Selby. Well, it didn't come out that good. A little bit of a wobble. It's a bit wide. Right. Well, it depends on his weight. Well, it's still coming, but is it going to get there? Not quite. Don't think it has. We got one. One moment. Well, this is close. Come to yours, but it's very close. He fancies the Australian bowl. Remembering Leif Selby just needs one on this end. Hurry! Has he got the way? He likes it. He does. Hurry! It's got to go, though. This is going to be the closest bowl by the Australian. And it's in a good spot for him, too. Well, that's a terrific shot by Leif Selby. Once again, Shannon McElroy has one bowl left. And the match, as it stands, is to Leif Selby. Can he do it again? Well, he hasn't got much on. He's got, I guess, about eight inches, nine inches maybe, to draw the shot. He's possibly two down. Whether he decides to play weight, maybe on the forehand through his own closest bowl... And push out the bowl and stay. Here comes his coach. He wants to have a word. Two down. But uh, there's a chance if I get half of the green one, he can get the other one. Yeah. You can see three quarters of the jack as well. We've got back bowl. Even if I was to half my one, there's still a chance. Mm. The jack gets, I mean, if I get the jack in the ditch, I'm line two. Yeah. Um, I'm just not. Just not sure if I should run it or drive it. Remember a couple of years ago when you drove down there? <laughs> no? Okay. Happy with that? Yep. 
Well, he's going to have a go. It's all or nothing. It is. It's all or nothing on this bowl. If he misses, Leif Selby doesn't have to have a bowl. So this is it. He has been superb. Shannon McElroy has he got one more left in him. A match worthy of the final, and it's only the semi-final. Here we go. He doesn't He's missed like it. it. He's missed it. And there it is. Leif Selby is in to the World Championship final after one hell of a battle. A huge sigh of relief for the Australian. A titanic battle with the Kiwi. Shannon McElroy should be very proud of his efforts. But Leif Selby, the world number two, is into the final against Ryan Bester of Canada. And Shannon McElroy gave it everything. Well, I know it's a cliche, but it's a shame there had to be a loser in one of the most gripping matches we've seen here at the World Championships in 2012. Shannon McElroy, commiserations, but what an enormous effort. You just never gave up. Oh, you know, like it's always a um, tough game against Lap. We've played many a times before, and there was no doubt this game was going to be the same. Um, the, the rink was a little bit tricky, but, um, you know, in saying that, there were some good balls played on a, on, on a tough rink. So um, well done to Leif. Uh, he thoroughly deserved as well. You had to save the match on so many occasions. What was the pressure like? What was going through your mind? Oh, just, just never say die attitude, really. You had to dip into the reserve tank and um, just try and, you know, a guy told me you, when things are going tough, just, just find a way to win. Um, so you just got to dig that little deeper to find something to, uh, out of the bag. And, you know, it sort of uh, worked a few times, but not quite. Well, Leif, a uh, sense of relief to get through to the final? Oh, most definitely. Look, um, once again, we've had the Royal Rumble. Shannon and I, this has been going on for too long now. Um, I'm getting a bit long in the tooth, but that was expected, that game, most definitely. Uh, look, towards the end, like Shannon said, the green was, or well, the rink was a little bit windy, which made it quite difficult. But, um, look, right towards the end, I, I think it was the last four ends, I'd sort of held the match, and he's played just absolutely world-class bowls to, to stay in there. And uh, a full credit to him, he's got a bright future, this kid. Did you think you'd missed your opportunity there, the way he was coming home, the way he was staying in the match? Look, you never underestimate your, your opponent, but uh, at the same time, you've got to, you've got to remain positive yourself. Um, I sort of had a chance but failed and thought, look, hopefully I'll get that, present that opportunity myself again. Uh, but he just kept hanging in there and, uh, look, in the end, it, um, like you said, it was a shame that we couldn't have a tie. Well, it's been a terrific men's semi-final here. Victory for Leif Selby. He now meets Ryan Bester of Canada in the final. On behalf of my co-commentator, Kelvin Kirko, I'm Mark Braybrook. We say goodbye from Adelaide.